And the other one is the coffin key, not the slow the stone tablet. Uh, because we actually need the to open the coffin and then ride it, because that's what's up the top of the stairs that go to the back floor. It's a coffin that slides along sand somehow. It, it looks terrible. Haha. Uh -huh. More of these back bouncing bastard asshole dick. Yeah, new enemies again. Uh, but as you've noticed, though that we're getting new enemies at a relatively rapid pace, uh, most of them are just reskins. So far, anyway. Well, okay, I'm just... No, that is totally wrong. I'm being unfair to this dungeon. They've not been mostly reskins. Uh, we've gotten mummies, which was new. We've gotten the golems, which is new. I mean, at least these fire dudes are fire instead of ice, I guess? So as far as enemy variety goes, it's not the worst. Uh, it could be better, but it, I mean, it's not like we're at the first dungeon where everything is new. Mighty Healing, we're selling that. Because, like I've said before, Mighty Healing sounds great, but you never have more than one status ailment, so there's no point. Oh, we really shouldn't do this. We've committed to it. Owie. Ah! Uh. Alright. Yeah, we can do this with, uh... There we go. I, I, I was thinking for a second, wait, my sword's gonna break, isn't it? But I remembered... Oh, uh, we have auto repair powder, so... It really doesn't matter if we run out of... Weapon HP, it would just mean that we're out 200 Gilda. Because those things are expensive. Slingshot this bug to death. Let's stick with uh, Zhao for a little while since we switched to her and I'm too lazy to go back into the menu. What is this? Frack. Not too bad, but that's still not very nice. Yeah. Oh, hey, you can steal repair powder off these guys. Let's actually, um... <sighs> Let's get around all these assholes. Get our, our slate. Get our monies. Let's start shooting this guy up to get a uh, repair powder. Or not. Never mind then. But we'll stick with Yao still. Uh, hopefully, we'll come across another golem and we can steal a repair powder again. Because that was nice. Granted, they only cost like 20 Gilda, but. It's nice to not have to spend it. Happy Clown! Let's go with the big box. And we get... Bread. Eh. I should have gotten the small box. Another chest. Wonder what it could be. It's an antidote drink. Just if we don't have enough of those. Oh, there's our golem! Come on, steal. Or not. Would be nice also to have more um, weapons with the steal effect, but you can only get weapon effects from weapons. There's a very, very, very small chance that you'll get durable or fragile on a weapon. And um, everything else is predetermined. Like the bandit slingshot has steel. The uh, uh, what was it? I can't remember exactly which one had the um, wealth effect because that was a long time ago. Oh, the big box hammer. Uh, the big box hammer has wealth. The um, 
Kitchen knife, I believe, has quench, which lowers your thirst rate, which is really not that important, as you can tell, because I rarely use my uh, water. You can always find a spring to uh, refill yourself in just about every single floor. The only time it might be a problem is in a boss, but I highly, highly doubt that because the bosses are generally pretty short and you don't really move around all that much. Not nearly as much as you do in a, a floor because you're confined to a room. Let's go back to Zhao and try to get a repair powder. Got it. Get away. Get some cash. Alright. So we've got our repair powders back, so we can keep on going. So as you've noticed, we've, we've gotten to where we can go through quite a few dungeons at once. In fact, the only reason I stopped last time was um, the recording. I just didn't want it to go too far over. Even though it was only 23 minutes long, and I also had to fix some emulation issues, which I haven't noticed the problem resurfacing yet. It doesn't seem to be. Uh, I switched to a different version of Direct3D. Uh, I believe that's how it has now been repaired. Uh, no, it has not. It just ha it's, yeah, it's still there. Uh, but at least it doesn't seem to be as noticeable. Though um, that could also just be a damaged ROM. It could be. It could be a graphical bug with the original game, I don't know. I, uh, I actually haven't played the original copy that I had since I was like 14, back when I actually had it before my brother traded or gave it to uh, his girlfriend at the time. At least I think that's what happened to it. And he gave some for, uh, to his lady and uh, I never saw them again. I'm not too begrudging about that because it was uh, Dark Cloud 1 and 2, which I can just emulate, no problem. It was uh, Resident Evil 4, which you can get on Steam now, which I did, even though the uh, version is inferior. And that is also the version that I used for the, uh, the uh, Let's Play recording. <coughs> Excuse me for a second. <coughs> Sorry about that. And I really, those were about it. Uh, there might have been other games that I didn't really care about. And that's why I've forgotten. But, like I said, it, it's, the graphical bug, it wasn't really that big. It's only like off to the sides. And thinking about it, really, um, it could also be a widescreen issue. Because, I, I, as you can see, I'm playing this at a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. And this game was not, does not have a 16 to 9 option. This is a uh, entirely 4 to 3 game. Come on, scroll up. So it could be it just it could be any number of things. I'm just gonna go out and guess that it's a widescreen issue. That seems the most likely. And we continue our discussion here. So I have nothing to say. I could go back to reading like I was in uh, the first area, but I sounded like a, a bumbling jackass, so no. Lol. Lol again. We've been through this in the shipwreck. I'll just. Judging from his reactions, it doesn't seem like he's making a lot of progress. Except now, he's very happy. And I don't see the point in um, having to show the Sun and Moon Temple logo again. Well, the the name. Is it like is it loading us back into it after loading us out? I mean, they couldn't just show that as an FMV and move on. Limited zone. Thirst zone. We're going to be using Grand Feathers a lot. We're also going to be uh, getting a move on, so... Well, nice to get the map early. Ooh, crabs, I hear. 
not like the uh, oysters in the previous one. These are like, this is a reskin that actually seems to be a different monster entirely. So, kind of nice. Ow! Bastard. Get our Atla. If it wasn't for the Atla, I would thunder through this dungeon and just move on. That hurt. This guy's actually, yeah. Uh, back to my statement about the, um, blah, 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 blah. What was it? Uh, ranged characters being uh, piss poor in terms of defense. You can clearly see that, because two hits has uh, rendered Jao in a lot of pain. Mini totem pole. Those totem poles for the completion uh, are more important than you might think. It's not just there to be there. Uh, Mini totem poles this is a very religious area. Or at least a very superstitious area. They want their totem poles to be facing in a certain direction. And in fact, that's the request that most of them make. Not to be placed in a certain area, but just to uh, honor that tradition. Which is nice. Uh, it makes knowing what to do a lot easier. But ultimately, it doesn't really matter because we're probably not doing it. I'm probably just going to be artsy with it and make it how I want. If I could get my dude, my lady here going in the right direction. Let's repair our weapon. We also, apparently a long time ago, I'm gonna guess, got um, some stuff. But I wasn't paying attention. Fire, attack, magic. Uh, dino, plant, beast, and sky. Which of those do we have? We have a plant. Actually, I have two plants. We have no beast. We have a C. Um, hmm. Let's raise our endurance. Endurance plus deuce. And upgrade. Before we repair, of course. So we can get that extra experience. Uh, that extra WHP. Sweetness. Alright. We are about to start thirsting to death. Thirsting to death? Yes. Uh, being dehydrated. Uh, do I see any springs on the map? No. Uh, let's search, though. Uh, it can't hurt. Actually, it can't hurt. It's hurting quite a lot now. There we go. Good. Great. Perfect. Come on. What the? All right. That was interesting. <laughs> uh, PS2 and just Dark Cloud in general. My god. You're so glitchy. But at least the glitches are graphical and they don't, like, break the game. Oh shit, two mimics. Come on. Okay, that shot clearly went straight through him. That's, that, that is a slight case of the bullshits. Whatever. Weird clipping. Like I say, at least the issues that this game has are minor and mostly graphical. Because and it, it's a if I were to rate this on a scale of one to ten, it'd probably be like a six or seven. But it's still one of my favorite RPGs, re regardless. It's a fine game. It's just primitive and full of problems, like me. Get the Atla. Don't swing your sword at it. That's not how Simba told us to do it. But, uh... Zhao? 
we're already half with uh, dehydrated, so we're gonna have to go back and refill everyone. That's why these uh, thirst zones are actually my least favorite, is because you're constantly uh, backpedaling to restore yourself. It doesn't, it's not challenging, it's just tedious. It's like, oh, hey, I've cleared this one room, and in the space of this one room, uh, I'm, like, half of my thirst meter has gone down. Which is probably why they weren't anywhere to be found in the first dungeon, because that would have just been retarded. It would have been way too hard, because then, like, you're constantly, like, see, I'm already three down. Uh, if they had done that in the first dungeon, then I'd already be dying from, uh, thirst. So, they were at least smart with it and didn't make it a complete pain in the ass. So, I can't complain too much, I guess. And there's one more golem. We'll deal with him. And then fix our weapons. Actually, we're not going to worry about fixing our weapons because we still don't really need to leave the dungeon. I think... Secret path key. Next floor. We're going to the back. So yeah, I suck at remembering names. Coffin key is not it. For all I know, coffin key was the name of the key to get into um, <clears throat> just the doors here. But regardless. See how quickly that went down? Fucking hell. We're going to be halfway de dehydrated again by the time we get out. Assuming I could find the exit. Alright, here we go. How much space do we have left? Tons. 